The project was conceived as an alternative to a shop book conservatory. In this part of Dublin, in this part of suburbia, there are two a penny in every garden. And I think that while they have their use and they're good and they have a quality, what we were trying to do here is build something that would have the qualities of those conservatories, but in a project that was more tailored, but at the same cost as what it was to buy these off the shelf. I guess th there's no big idea to this project. That's kind of the point. Uh, I'm interested in the idea of gestalt and how something is made up of pieces and then the whole is a combination of these smaller ideas. So rather than having one big idea, there's lots of smaller ideas that then go to make up something that becomes a bit more complex and a bit more richer, I believe. We're kind of interested in the idea of the office of this idea of being richly economical. We kind of notice that in a lot of recent projects, or architecture in general, there's a kind of a, an approach that if you want to build cheaply, you pair back to a, a constructional fabric. Uh, and I found in my experience actually pairing back or stripping back a project actually introduces costs because the labour and the time and the care involved actually lay a, a, a blockwork wall very finely or, or butt joints and plywood very finely. It's quite expensive. So what I try to work with is with coatings and linings and how these elements paint, render, allows you to be able to build with ample tolerance and actually to build with tolerance is the cheapest way to build. So we use a quick crude substructure we can build quickly and then we mask this with then linings that can be applied easily by everyday uh, local builders or uh, handymen that keep the costs down. From working on this conservatory or this extension, you realise that when you put two boards together, is it important about the boards or the joint between the boards? And actually, what's really interesting is actually what if the joint between the boards is actually where the idea is? And I like that. I, don't, I, I really don't like things that reveal themselves at once. And I think in small projects, you can really uh, use those moments or those details to kind of add richness. So it's not about coming into a room, if, especially in a small project, you come into a room and it's overloaded with ideas, you'll just be, I don't want to be in this room. But if the ideas are, are kind of subtle or, or played or nuanced, then I think it's something that reveals itself more slowly and it's, it's, it's much more uh, friendly, I think, to be in that space. 